Hi, welcome back to another Sunday vlog. Fixing that. Of course, I had to go get me something to eat. And then I got several things I got to get started back on. But yesterday, I had to charge up the battery on not just the Volkswagen Beetle, but also the PT Cruiser. I got that moved over to a tree where I can, uh, that I'm going to use to help pull the lower part of the radiator support uh, back as close as I can to the original position where I can have that radiator set right where I can finally put some coolant back in it. I went ahead and purchased the uh, coolant that she needed for it so I can go ahead and get that over with. I haven't got the belt yet because I want to make sure I can get the support moved into position. And uh, then I'll probably go ahead and purchase that for her as well. Especially considering uh, she's supposed to get paid Friday. They've done the deposit, it, but it hasn't went to her check. And it'd be money before she gives her the bank find out what's going on with that. So she don't have the money to purchase it, so I'm going ahead and get the stuff for her. And hopefully, I can get that taken care of today. And try to get back to uh, getting the exhaust under. It's cutting the uh, pipe off with my uh, cutoff wheel. Because that'd be the quickest and easiest part, or the easiest way to cut it out. And I guess my uh, cuff wheel was a little dry and brittle because it just all of a sudden, I was right there towards the end and then it just split up in about three different pieces. Flew! I kind of wish I had it on the video. Uh, it was already getting kind of dark so it wouldn't have picked, probably picked up I don't know my shop light man, that I got uh, I actually purchased at Walmart that, that's pretty bright never have took that other one back to Home Depot uh, on I mean, Har Harbor Freight and I don't even know where I put the receipt now I'm pretty sure it's just a bulb but the bulb shouldn't have blown that quick I haven't figured out how to get the old bub off, so I may have to look into it because it didn't come with the instructions on how to replace it, but I do know they sell the bubs. So I'll figure that out later. But uh, yeah, I probably do not like, like a couple of inches of piping to cut. And I had the hacksaw blade out earlier yesterday trying to cut it. But it was just hard to get in a good position, especially when you're laying on the cold ground. Uh, so, uh, so when my uh, cup plate disintegrated, I was like, well, I don't know exactly where my other one is. I got a, three or four other ones I can replace it with. I'm like, well, I'll just finish off that little small bit with the uh, tank so I can get this out of the way and I can mock up the exhaust because uh, I am going to have to get a couple more pipes. Uh, one of them I have to get a flexible side that will actually be able to bring the hooks up over the transmission support. Uh, the driver side has got a little deal. The passenger side doesn't and it's not lined up where the pipe will go straight through it. It'll either have to go be bent and go up and over it or go under it. So I figured I'd just get a uh, flexible pipe about the same size as the other one and a uh, uh, straight pipe that I got and bring it up over it and I'll be able to connect it that way. Which I had already put two pipes onto my other uh, H-pipe pieces that I got and uh, then I realized 
those are too narrow. I need to widen it. I can't get those pipes off. <laughs> so I'm stuck with it in that position. But looking at the length and everything, if I leave those like that, put the pipes on the, my mufflers on the end of it, and then it actually work out pretty good. Uh, so I need to extend the pipe with two more pipes. One will be uh, the flexible and one will be a straight. And I just support everything up. It will put the X pipe a little further back than what I was originally wanting to put it. Uh, but the height of it, uh, that's going to, but uh, height and angle, that's going to be the best place to put, uh, put it where it'll actually uh, be all the way of the dry shaft. disappointment a little bit more of a setback but uh, I'm getting it figured out now one thing I am having a little problem with is trying to decide my air intake and how I'll, how I can mount it I didn't think I'd have that big of a problem and I've been looking actually for months at uh, different ones to see which one I want to go with. Uh, now here I am get this close to being able to get up on the road driving and can uh, even decide on what air intake I want to go with. On a side note, the uh, brake component that I had purchased to finish up the brakes didn't come in yesterday like I was expecting. I paid for the two day shipping. Uh, today makes the third day. And I still don't have it. Uh, makes it pointless of me paying that extra money now. I mean, I paid about the same amount for the part just so I could get it to the house quicker. Now, it looks like it may end up being Monday, which will be four days after I bought it before it even gets to me. Not happy with the service. This is only the second time I've done uh, online shopping through AutoZone. And so far, I'm not happy. <laughs> Which, uh, that also comes to the point where the air intake, uh, I got a couple that i thinking about getting of course, if I put my vehicle, it says it doesn't fit, which I'm uh, probably going to say that for anything I look for, because the engine I have on that is not supposed to go in that truck, but it's in it. <laughs> and I haven't felt exactly a set ones that, uh, what they use when they do their swaps. Everybody does theirs a little different. And they don't seem to really tell you, hey, this is a type that I use and what I recommend. So that's a little aggravating. Some of the ones that they do, though, talk about uh, is way, way out of my budget right now. I'm trying to do this for as low as possible because at slow season, Overtime's over with now. So, plus the holidays coming up. Christmas is right around the corner. So I gotta watch every penny I, I uh, you know, got to be able to make it through the rest of the year. But this is just a little small stuff I need for the truck. Once I get past Christmas, uh, I'm gonna start looking more into the body parts again. Definitely want to replace the fenders and the hood. And of course the bed. I'm still trying to decide what, how I want to do the bed. One day I want to take the cab off the truck so I can totally redo the undercarriage of it because I've seen it 
uh, since I've been doing the exhaust and like there's parts of it uh, really like to clean up uh, primer and uh, put some type of undercoat and protection on it to make it look really, really good and have it protected so that's stuff that I'm uh, looking into but it'll be way up in the future uh, right now there's no rust holes uh, in the part that I want to protect. I just got that one part in the driver's side floorboard that I need to uh, get a replacement piece. It's got a piece of sheet metal all over it right now. But uh, probably be uh, somewhere around mid-January, uh, maybe towards the 1st of February when I uh, buy that. And I may have to get an uh, actual outside quarter pound, which is good. But there's a small lip where the uh, floorboard replacement panel, I don't think it replaces that. So I may have to get that other piece just for a little, probably one inch strip. Uh, so <laughs> I just uh, have to wait and see on that. Uh, maybe I'll be able to patch it up some other way. Uh, probably just need to buy that piece so I can see exactly how big it is and how much I need to uh, actually replace you know add on to it anyway i'm here to edit this i'm gonna try to get some more videos started uh one problem i've been looking for or i'm having is my gopro i got one of those head straps of uh to mount the gopro onto and i haven't been able to find it uh, it's not with my other gopro attachments and it's not under my bed, and that's where usually everything falls, because I thought I had it on the desk, and when it falls off the desk, it's usually under the desk or under my bed, since it's right by the side of my bed. Uh, but I haven't been able to find it. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all soon.